Hi everyone, I'm not doing a remake of the American Gothic, you know, with the fork, but I do have a fork story. See that tie right there? Where it's kind of bent? Yeah, where it's kind of bent. You see how it's bent there, right? Anyway, I'm out digging in the garden. It was about two weeks after we moved here. And Shadow came out and said something to me, and I said, yeah, okay. Right, and I'm digging away, and I go like this. Only, it wasn't nice and far here, it went right down, right down through my foot, with that, and it was about that clean too. So, I, <laughs> I said something like, oh, that's not good, or I thought, oh, that can't be good, and I pulled it out, and I hopped over, and sat down, and I said, Go get me a, a couple of uh, face cloths and run a lot of cold water on them. So she did, and she brought them out. And I started to dress my foot, and I got the bleeding stuff. And she brought over the first aid kit and bandaged up the foot. And uh, I said, well, uh, I guess this means a trip into the hospital. And uh, she said, yeah, you know, didn't you? Yeah, and I had my lunch packed and ready to go, my yeah. carrot sticks and broccoli. Yeah, and I, you know, I, she goes, i got to go to the bathroom. I said, yeah, okay. So I'm in the kitchen. I said, well, gee, if I'm going to be in the emergency room and come and know to Halifax, the emergency room, when you went to the emergency room, you were there for three or four hours, right? And that was fast. And that was fast. So I decided to make myself a sandwich, so uh, uh, an egg sandwich, so I got the frying pan out and she, she came out what are you doing and what were your thoughts I said, what the hell is he doing he's making lunch yeah. we're I going figured, to the hospital I figured you know I'm going to the hospital I'm going to be there a while so I don't want to be hungry so I made myself a sandwich so we drove into the hospital I made the sandwich ate it and off we went after you went on the computer for a while too oh uh, did I go on the computer yeah huh I wasn't you in ate your rush. lunch, you went onto the computer, your foot bleeding all over the carpet. Oh, okay. Well, I, you know, it's, you know, there was no, you know, what can you do, right? So anyway, I get to the hospital. I go up to the reception desk and I said, yeah, I had a bit of a problem here. She said, yes. I said, I drove a garden fork through my foot. Well, she just cracked right up, right? She just, she couldn't help herself. She just started laughing. So, she said, go through those doors, right? And I go through the doors, and I see a nurse, and I said, excuse me, I just drove a garden fork through my foot, and there was no reaction. And oh, where do I go? And she said, just go down there and take a seat. I'll get the doctor. She turned, and I seen her going like this. She was laughing. So, I go down. And I'm sitting there, and they said, yeah, come on in. And they're, by this time, they're not. she's not even concealing her laughter and her joy by that. She takes me into the the, room, the examining room. The doctor comes in. He's laughing his ass off. Right? She told him what was going on. I, I mean, it's like a great big party, right? I'm laughing. He's laughing. The only one not laughing is you. You're horrified by everybody laughing at the fact that I drove this through my foot. And so the doctor there, and he was a foreign guy, and he goes, I, I really don't know what to do. And I said, well, why don't you get a big syringe full of saline and blast this thing out? He said, yeah, that's a good idea, you know, to get the dirt out. So he went and he got a big syringe and shot the saline through. And that was really pleasurable. And he said, well, we're going to have to, we're, we're, we're going to have to stitch it up. And he said that it's going to be painful. So I'm going to give you a needle. I've had a lot of needles. I mean, I served in the military. You get a lot of needles in the military, right? And I've been hurt a lot of times, and I've gotten a lot. I never experienced pain. He took this needle, and he hit, he must have hit the nerve, the dead in the foot. And, I, I mean, it was incredible pain. And uh, he said, uh, we're going to have to have tetanus. We're going to have to give him a shot of tetanus. Oh, he's, no, he said, 
when did you have your last tetanus shot? And I said, well, probably about 10 years ago. He said, well, no, you're going to have to have a tetanus shot. And so the nurse goes, but we don't have any. It's Monday. I thought that kind of strange, right? And he said, don't worry about it. I have some in my office, but you have to replace it. She said, okay. So they finish up with the foot. It's all bandaged up. I'm waiting to get the shot. Nurse comes in with the tetanus. And she gives me the tetanus shot. I said, excuse me. I said, what's Monday got to do with tetanus? She said, oh, yeah. She said, the weekend, they all get drunk. They're using chainsaws and axes. We go through tetanus on the weekend like you wouldn't go, you know, like you wouldn't believe. I said, really? She said, Is that bad? She said, oh, yeah. I said, they come down from the city. They start drinking on Friday night, and they don't stop until Sunday. And in the meantime, they're whipping out the the chainsaw, or they're whipping out the axe. And I'm going, wow. So anyway, I went and I went went home, and the foot healed up and everything, and as you can see, just imagine that going through your foot. And it was your little toe. Yeah, it was right behind my, it was right behind my little toe, right there. Right? Missed the bone, thank God. Right? It was all meat. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was that was one of my better days. So anyway, don't laugh too hard, right? I know, uh, you know it's, you know that was seven years ago, almost seven years ago. So I'm a lot better at using this stuff. You got to remember, I came out from the, the city to live in the country. And, uh, basically, didn't know really what I was doing. So anyway, till the next time.